Hello and welcome back to the Resident Evil HD Remaster, where we are very close to the end of the game, so we might end up finishing it today, or we might not. I guess you'll already know by seeing the title. But we're close. Apparently there's somebody here. Hello. Okay, looks like he's dead. We're gonna have to work quick if we don't want those guys to turn into crimson heads. Okay, so in here we want to uh, go down this way. This is where we go later. Oh, well, it's actually where we go now. through the door right now? I think we go through the door right now. Yeah, this is where we use our last demo disc, I think. Yep, that's the spot. through here without doing the refueling thing. Oh, hang on, grenade, want. Is it a bad idea for me to go here just yet? Okay, no, it's not. Well, actually, yes, it is, because there's nothing we can do in here. Not till we do the refueling thing. We gotta take our empty canister and make it less empty. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to be fighting our way past these guys pretty constantly, because they will respawn infinitely, I believe. And we want to not explode. Which means we need to not take hits. So, yeah. Basically, it'll be a fun time is what I'm trying to say. Thankfully, if you just run on by, you don't take hits, usually. And I'm sincerely hoping that running doesn't count as jostling the stuff. Because if it does, then we might have a problem. All right, what do we got? Two green herbs. All right. So let's go say hello to Jill. Oh, right. Yeah, if I can just get those levers to work, like, by pulling them. Shame you can't just pull them all at once. Hey Jill, how's it going? 
Chris? Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. Um... I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. Right, I guess we did see the picture of Wesker in the thing, and that's how Chris knows. Because if it wasn't for that, our last time we saw or heard of Wesker would have been when he helped us out with Lisa. He just had to get himself photographed as a member of the team. Okay, so from here we want to go up to that room that's still red to get our thing refueled. Right? No. No, it's a different room. It's this room, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Well then, I guess we need to not run. Which means we need to be prepared to use this shotgun. So let's put a couple more shells in there. That's right, it is running that can cause a fatal explosion. And running is exactly the thing we're not going to do in that case. this way because that way we don't potentially wake up the guy whose head we didn't blow up and hopefully neither of the naked zombies in here will become crimson heads They've just completely despawned. I guess that means they can't become Crimson Heads, which is fine by me. Now we go this way. And we hope that the Chimeras behave. So far, so good. And there we go. And now, I do believe it's time for us to get rid of our shotgun. And in its place, grab up our magnum. Also, I feel like I missed a map of this area somewhere. It's been nice, shotgun, but it's time for us to part. So, first aid spray, mixed herbs, mixed herbs. There we go. Four full heals and 30 magnum shots. That ought to be enough to get us through the rest of the game. If it's not, so help me. Don't mind me, just passing through. Mm. 
You're not acting like s people who aren't minding me. I guess you're not exactly people. You're like part fly. So now that the main elevator is powered, we go back past the save room, right? Yeah. Is all worried about nothing with regards to the chimeras and the fuel. Seriously, game, why force me to do this? Chris! Becky! Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Maybe next time put a space between more and following. Though that's not the first time there's been a space missing. Hey look, shotgun shells. Hang on, did I see something over here? No, I didn't. There's nothing to the right, so time to play with Tyrant. So yeah, unless I get my ass handed to me, it's looking like this will be the final episode. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. He's not supposed to die. Also, nice accusing point you did there, Chris. life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. 
He survived that. Come on, you test tube freak. Becky? Where's Becky? Where's Becky? You okay? <laughs> Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. Exposition. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the progen... Primogenitor virus? The prototype parasite which we had delivered from a laboratory from... Which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. Nice double now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. Actually, it would not unless multiple generations passed. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.'s history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. All right. Now we can get going, right? Can't we? Looks like we can. Oh. Where's the thing we got of buttons? Hello? Oh, right. It's like all the way around this corner, isn't it? Yep. And now that we've released it, we get to actually leave. Why are we going down? Did we go up to get here? Was I not paying attention? Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Okay, so she found a self-destruct system. Where? And wouldn't it be better to go together? Chris, why were you acting like you didn't expect that to happen? 
Like, you literally just had a conversation about how she was going to go start the self-destruct system. Yo, Jill, couldn't you hear the thing saying that all the locks were being released? You could have opened it yourself. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Gotta leave. Let's get going. So I'm curious about something. That one door by the well that we came in from that was a big heavy duty door that was locked is that open now like because that door that we're supposed to go out here is a different door is oh hey look who finally got up way to get stuck on the stairs, bruh. Oh. Hey, Jill. How's it going? Like, not altar, not residence, courtyard. The the door in the bottom left with the X on it. I have never been through that door, ever. But it's not blue right now, which means it's probably still locked. Yeah. Why does that door even exist then? Just to show that there was some other way for Wesker to get to the altar? Hey, look, there's healing supplies and shotgun ammo. Those are totally things I need, right? This is Brad. Morning out of fuel. This is your last chance. If there's anyone alive, give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. All right, buddy. Wait, aren't we supposed to, like, grab a thing in here? Yeah, we are. Well, dang. Let's use our worst healing item then. Actually, a first aid spray would probably count as our worst because those aren't combinable for other things. I'm a little concerned that Becky hasn't caught up with us. Up oh, there she is. The self-destruct system's activated. No way. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. And Becky too? But yeah, thanks for letting us know something that the siren has been telling us about for like the last five minutes there, Becky. Like in the exact same words. The self-destruct system has been activated. Oh, hey, it's this thing. Is 
So we just kind of bring those over here-ish, seems good. shoulder like that. Hey, uh, Becky, maybe move? Faster to reload like that. Wow, just down to yellow caution? Yeah, we're fine. No, don't don't be mean to Becky. That's fine. Be mean to Chris all you want. Just don't be mean to Becky. Okay. One hit takes us to yellow caution and then hit number two takes us to danger. I've got time, and I've got bullets. Ow. Okay, I don't have many more bullets, but we'll use what we've got. Thankfully, I do have curatives. And one more bullet. There. I've done what I can to soften him up. Really? Four rockets? Seems a bit much, doesn't it? I guess it's for if we miss with one. Or for if that happens. So I guess we need to hit him from behind while he's focused on Becky. In that little cutscene, we hit him from the front. rescued both of them. Shame we couldn't also rescue Richard. But yeah, as with Jill's playthrough, it's a fun game. Certainly easier than Resident Evil Zero. A lot more healing items to go around. And, uh, I never found myself really wanting for ammo, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's not the hardest game, but they do atmosphere right in this game. And I do like how Becky and Chris interact. Uh, apparently we did miss out on having Becky make V-Jolt. Apparently if we had gotten a specific file, then Becky would have done the whole making V-Jolt thing and we would have played as her again, but oh well, we missed it. Instead, I ended up fighting the Plant 42. And yeah. 
I still think that of all the Resident Evil games I've played, this is the definitive one. Like, no other Resident Evil, in my opinion, nails its atmosphere quite as well. And, I mean, Resident Evil 2 does a pretty good job, but Resident Evil 2 also looks like garbage these days. But they're working on a remake like this for Resident Evil 2. That was announced, like, a while ago. So maybe, like, next year we'll see it? That would be cool. I'd love to play that during October next year. Chris, you did a fine job. Oh, thanks. So, yeah. That was a game. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, yes. Real survival mode was annoying. And we'll just go ahead and save right here. And that is going to be it for this series. Uh, I know it's not actually October anymore, but oh well, I kind of wanted to finish it. And uh, yeah, we'll play through Resident Evil 2's remake whenever it comes out. But if it doesn't come out before October, then we'll be picking up in October with Resident Evil 2. And then if we finish that before October is over next year, we'll go on to Resident Evil 3. Basically, I plan to go through the series in order. Though Resident Evil 0 wasn't exactly in order, but I mean, it does take place before Chris's game. So I guess I could go chronological order, but then that'd mean playing part of Resident Evil 3 before playing Resident Evil 2. And then like bouncing back and forth between those two for the rest of the time. I don't know. I've got until either the Resident Evil 2 remake drops or next October to figure it out anyway. So, yeah, that's it for this game. And I'll see you in the next game and Resident Evil 2 eventually. See you then, friends.